Today in the Daily Dose, the Battle of Atlanta. Confident that the Confederate Army would lose a war of attrition, in the spring of 1864, U.S. Army Commander Lieutenant General Ulysses S. Grant ordered five simultaneous offensives into the South, intended to break already weakened Confederate forces along their protracted frontier. Grant assigned his friend Major General William T. Sherman to command the 5th Advance against General Joseph E. Johnson's Atlanta-based Confederate Army in defense of the South's largest industrial, logistical, and administrative center outside of Richmond. With Union forces closing in on Atlanta, a frustrated President Jefferson Davis relieved Johnson of command due to his lack of aggressiveness against Sherman's army replacing him with Lieutenant General John B. Hood on July 18th, who in turn launched two attacks against Sherman, a July 20th offensive at Peachtree Creek and what would become known as the Battle of Atlanta. On July 22nd, Hood ordered a three-pronged advance on Sherman's forces, General William J. Hardy's men to the Union's left flank, General Joseph Wheeler's cavalrymen to Sherman's rear supply line, while General Benjamin Cheatham's men drove straight into Sherman's front line. As the battle ensued, General James B. McPherson, in command of the Army of the Tennessee and a personal favorite of both Sherman and Grant, was shot and killed by Confederate forces in his push to the front line, making him the second highest ranking Union officer to perish in battle during the entirety of the Civil War. After all three prongs of Hood's offensive ended in defeat and fallback. The main battle lines now formed an L-shape, with the heaviest fighting centered east of Atlanta at Bald Hill, which during the day devolved repeatedly into bloody hand-to-hand -hand combat until the Confederates retired to the south just after nightfall. The one-day battle witnessed 3,400 Union casualties, while the already depleted and dispirited Confederacy saw 5,500 leading to the Union Army's siege of Atlanta until the city's eventual fall and capture on September 2, 1864. The capture of the rebels' second most valuable stronghold did much to boost Northern morale and resolve, at the same time cementing President Abraham Lincoln's second-term victory in November, making the Battle of Atlanta an important inflection point in the South's eventual surrender seven months later. And there you have it, the Battle of Atlanta, today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.